Okay, hey, so um, I found this canvas um, in Nicole's old closet and it was damaged. She had punctured it a couple times, so I put some super glue on the back, some masking tape, and then a piece of packing tape, and then I covered the top with some black. And I think it's a mixture of flat black and glossy black because it's kind of weird looking right there. But I don't care. It's damaged canvas, so I'm just going to play with it, right? Okay. Uh, so I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. And I wanted to get some red going, but I don't think I got any mixed. Let me check here. Oh, yeah, I do have some red. So we're going to go ahead and do it to it. Um, the defects right there, so I'm going to try to keep from whacking on that spot. All right. Ay, 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 ay. Not sure how I want to do this, so let's just throw that cup right there. I got this when I did an open cup pour yesterday, the day before. The days all blend together, so I don't recollect when it was. And I'm trying to be careful because this is not one of my painting shirts, it's one of my good t shirts. These new bottles don't like to open. Yeah. Pooey. Pooh. Mmm. Red paint. Pet. The other red meat. Or white meat. Or whatever they say. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Rock on some red. And throw just a little bit more of that black in there. There's the end of the black. Woo! Silicone! Oh, man. I almost made a ginormous mess. You know how I am with that. Okay, I'm going to throw some silicone down there. Just for yucks. Okay. A little bit more red. Lots of red. I want to do a red and black deal. Mmm. You see how the silicone sprayed out, sprinkled out. It's kind of cool. I'm just trying to figure out what I want to do. Do I want a canary yellow in that? I don't know. I want to kind of hold off on that. Let's just put some more red in there for now. Lots of red. I want lots of red. And I have more black. I just used a lot covering this canvas, so but I'm just going to use the tail end of that. Okay. <clears throat> and you know how fond I am of island blue. Would that go good with the red and the black? Sure, why not? You know, I changed my mind. I'm going with some royal blue first. It's kind of lost. Shake it down. Okay. And that's where we're going to stop with that. We don't want a bunch of air bubbles. Oh, I know what I want to put in there. I got some of this dark purple that I mixed up, but I don't know how good that'll work. Yeah, I'm going to stay basic. Let's just keep adding the red. Instead of putting that blue in there, she just kept adding red and black, but that's okay. I say that's okay a lot, because why? That's okay. <laughs> Let's put a little bit of navy blue in there. Because navy is the new black. I don't know where that came from. I'm rambling on like I always do. One more squirt of this red. All right. I don't know if the silicone was a mistake or not, but it's damaged canvas. I'm just going to play with it. Um, I am going to put a touch of the orange in before I drag it, just because. Okay. Now well, let's quit messing around and drag it. Woo, I like those blue poppers in there. That looks pretty cool. So, before
before I go ahead and drag that out, I'm just going to cover up that orange that I did a little bit with some more of this. Yeah. Okay. Now, I'm going to drag it. Like so. And do it one more. Like that. Do I want to do it anymore? Now let's stop it right there. It looks pretty cool. This might be pretty neat. Anyways, let's find out. Toss my cup. Ooh. All right. Spiffy. Okay. <clears throat> Here we go. A rocking and a rolling. Pretty color so far. I got a, enough of it on here. I reckon I do. I ran out of butane in my torch the last time I worked on a painting. And today, David and I stopped at Jack's convenience store and gas station in Hesperia and got some more refills for my butane torch. So look at here. I can use it again. We're going to pop all these air bubbles, because they're everywhere. I had a lot of air in that black paint, so we're going to get it out. That's, oh, that's where the defect is. We'll go back. I've got a couple of things on my table I can use to work on that, to hide that area. So, with the coat through, I have a plan. Okay, looks like most of the air bubbles are gone. There's a couple over here. Okay. Right. Let's tilt before this paint gets too thick. Because the black is a bit on the thick side tonight. Yeah, these big canvases. I should have changed my shirt, but I better not get black on this, baby. It's my good t-shirt. If one can have a good t-shirt. <laughs> okay. Oi. <sighs> Gotta find a bigger drip tray. Let's see how talented I can do this without dropping it here. Whew. Wow. I don't want to lose all that blue in the corner, but I got a lot of red down there. I got to spread out here. There we go. That's nice. Nice right there. It's covering well. There we go. Oh, 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 oh. Teresa, don't get it all over the floor for crying out loud. I did save a little bit of my plastic, so when I make a mess, I can change my plastic liner. When I'm done, let's get those drippies off of there. Because they'll land right on the floor. nice thing about working with black is you don't have to cover every single black spot because black does look cool. Touch that right there. Okay. I gotta get that corner down there. Nicole's gonna bring Rosie back in the morning and drop her off on her way to work. And then we'll take her to church with us. a little bit ago. Ooh, I gotta go to the bathroom. Guess I better hurry up with my project here. <laughs> okay, so I got that little sides covered, y'all. You see any fair spots? Yeah, I talk to you like I can hear you, right? Yeah, it helps me with my concentration. Okay. Pretty, well, I lost some of the things I was trying to keep, but I gained some other colors, too, so that's all right. That's pretty cool. Got a little bit of canvas poking through right there. Okay. All right, let's take the gun to it one more time. Handy dandy gun. For as big as this canvas is, I wasn't so messy this time. I got a blob on the floor, but that always happens with this big canvas. I guess I'm gonna have to start putting a drop cloth on the floor when I do these big ones. It's just easier to get it up off the floor, even though I don't have tile enough on the floor right here. But 
that plywood absorbs the paint. <laughs> Didn't get as many cells as I thought I'd get because I only got uh, one or two squirts of the silicone in here. I guess I didn't get this charged up all the way. Let me add some more. This is how you get your butane. Okay. Voila. Phew, I'm stuck it in paint. I decided to call my painting so-called business. I'm going to call it barefoot acrylics. And why do I call it barefoot acrylics? Because I always work in my bare feet. And they're usually covered in paint even after a shower because yeah, I'm always stepping in butt paint. I want to create a couple more cells here real quick. Okay, I'm going to stop right there. I don't want too much. Yeah. Whoa. That's getting busy now. Let me show you. Ooh. Um, yeah, Mixed Media Girl on uh, YouTube. She did that one day. She added the silicone after she put the paint down. It gives it a different effect. And she did some swipes over top of it too, but I'm not swiping this baby. Okay, that's what we got right there. And we're going to let it set a while. Let it move and change and do its thing. I hope you guys can see this okay. I'm trying to see what you're seeing, but it's kind of hard to do with an iPad, like I've mentioned many times. Anyways, there you go. And that's it for tonight. Okay. See you later. Tomorrow is the Lord's Day. Um, remember to rejoice and be glad in it. Good night.